subwoofer generator set up and we'll go over this again real quickly. It's just an amplifier powering this subwoofer. This subwoofer is pushing air into this subwoofer and this subwoofer is outputting AC voltage and I have a little motor here that I'm going to power up with the subwoofer. I'll show you once I get started here. Alright, so I have this set up to show you the motor. It's playing a 50 hertz tone. We'll try 55 hertz. Looks like a no go at 55 hertz. We'll go down to 45 hertz. Shouldn't run on 45 hertz theoretically. But, uh, let's see what happens. It's actually running very nicely at 45 hertz. And... Just to show you, this thing has some torque. That's 45 hertz, which it shouldn't be running at. Let's try 42. Forty. Hmm. Seems different frequencies make it. I guess it just spins different directions after a while. Let's see if it works at 35 hertz. Wow, it's actually working at 35 hertz. It's working, but not very well. Let's go back up to a 40 hertz tone. 45. And 50. Doesn't seem like it wants to go. 51. Nothing. 50. So it, it turns at a 50 hertz tone and won't turn on a 60 hertz tone. That's pretty interesting. 48. Six. I'm 
just going to pause it real quick. Let's get a voltage on this while we're at it. And we can see it good. There we go. Eight point eight volts while turning a motor. Let's go back up to fifty hertz. Eight point four. Seems like 45 to 46 seems to be the sweet spot. So we're getting 8.5 volts on our output right there. Let's see what we are pulling on the input. And this is after turning a motor. So, so let's go ahead and see what our voltage was on the input while we were powering that motor. It's like 29 volts. 29 volts is what we were getting on the input side. Now let's unhook the motor and see what its voltage is without the draw on it. Alright, let's see what our voltage is without the load hooked up, without the motor. Was not expecting that. Let's try this again. Three twenty three, three two three, my famous car. That's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can back that 323 up. So if we had a capacitor in there, we could definitely um, store up some energy. And yeah, I'm excited about my results. So we'll see what happens. Here's the specs on the motor I was powering. It says AC 21 volts, 3 watts, 50 through 60 hertz, 2.5 through 3 rpm. And what was interesting is I 
didn't get it to go at anything above 50 hertz. 50 hertz, 51, up to 60 wouldn't turn, but it would anywhere from 35 to 50, so that's pretty interesting.